Clarkston, Washington's Joel Damon tops the order of merit after the first two events. His first career win at the PC Financial Open gave him an early leg up toward earning a spot on the Web.com Tour next year. It was incredible. It was something I've kind of almost dreamed about. This is my fifth year out here, so I've been close a few times and, and to finally get the W was incredible. I said I'm going to give myself five years to play professional golf and I'm going to go from there and reevaluate. Getting the W early in the season makes it very, very real and actually pretty darn close. The journey hasn't been easy for Damon. His mother died of pancreatic cancer in 2005. His brother was diagnosed with testicular cancer in 2009. In 2011, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer as well and didn't know where his professional golf career would go. It's very scary, but knowing that my brother had just been through it and that we, we caught it early, it, it helped it, but it's still a very scary situation for sure. Had surgery and had chemo through May, and I couldn't even walk up my stairs because I was so tired and I was just so out of it. And I really wondered if I lost the whole season or maybe even longer. He was just really weak all the time. It was hard for him, and it was tough to see a good friend go through something like that. To be able to look forward to going back out and hitting the golf course again, and hitting golf balls, and having fun with friends, it helps you push a little bit harder, I think. As I was kind of ending chemo, I, I started to chip and putt a little bit and I gained a lot of strength and then I knew that I was going to be okay, but there was a few weeks stretch where I was very sick and I wasn't sure. The scars left from his battle with cancer have helped Damon keep golf's challenges in perspective. This winter, I just was kind of down. I, I didn't get through Q school again. I was not happy about life. I was questioning kind of where I was at. And actually, I saw some photos of me without any hair going through chemo. And it kind of gave me a refresher that, you know, life's not all that bad right now. It changed my outlook for the year, and I think it's really shown.